Welcome back, and this time I'll show you how to get free Scorchers in every game, which can help you beat the new Dark Aether. So let's try and glitch 132 likes on this video to help my channel grow, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then now is a good time because we got some helpful glitches coming up next. In my last video, I showed you guys the easiest way to beat the new Dark Aether contracts completely solo, and you can check that video out in the description. There's a secret easter egg in the new story mission, and it's quite simple to do, but just make sure you have a few self-revives. First, you will need to find a rad detector, which can be found on a nearby building. Then head to this location to find the storage room and a secret map. Use the rad detector on this wall to see the hidden map, and the numbers will be in different spots each game. You need to find the same building on the mini-map, which can be a bit difficult to spot, but they're right here. First go to the building with the number 1 to find a hidden X on the ground. You will need to use the rad detector to find the X, and you should be able to find it on the top floor. And you'll need to press square once you find it. Now head back to the map so you can find the number 2 building, and the numbers will most likely be on different buildings in your game, so keep that in mind. Now head to building 2 to find the second hidden X. Once it's been activated, return to the map to find the third X, and for me it was in the building just across the street. Once you activate the third X, a storage key will appear, so you can now use it to unlock the storage room. Inside, you will find a free Scorcher case, a blueprint for the MCW, and three Pack Punch crystals. And you will get the same loot every time you complete this Easter egg. Now complete the quest so you can exfil, or you can just drink a Tombstone perk and then get eliminated. This will set up a Tombstone with all your items in the next game. You're able to duplicate items like the Scorcher over and over again every game, so fill your inventory with the best items you have and bring along a Tombstone perk or buy one once in game. I also like bringing along a second Scorcher since it makes setting up a Tombstone easier, but it's not required. Make sure you do not use any backpack items until after you have duped your first inventory. You will need to shoot the same three icons I do and then activate the portal. Then go over to the story mission portal and activate it. Now quickly go through the first portal you open and then head towards the out of bounds and make sure you're fast. You will need to vote yes before the countdown hits 2 seconds, then stand at the edge of the out of bounds and get ready to run in when the big timer hits 6. If you get the timing right, you will be teleported and then eliminated, and you will need to close the game when it says Dark Aether Zombies. When you restart the game, you'll see that you kept all your items, and the exact same items are also inside a tombstone in the next game. This means you can now use all your items inside your backpack since you have duplicates inside your tombstone, which you can then use to set up a new tombstone. Just keep doing this game after game so that you always start with the best stuff. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out, and drop me a like if it did. If you made it this far, then say the secret word GG in the comments. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!